shoot it in the butt. Wait, where's Gretchen? Where's my dog? Welcome home. My grandmother teachlings, and they're a terrible omen. A sign of great suffering and destruction to come. From the comfort of Stella's guest room, the events of the past evening seem like something that happened to someone else. Though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in those moments, for now, you're safe and you're warm. <laughs> Sailor Moon sleep shirt. Tuesday morning awaits. I guess we have no choice but to wake up. Those are chock full of ghouls and ghosties. You had me worried sick. From now on, you're back at the estate by bedtime. No more impromptu sleepovers. Street smart. Street smart. <laughs> you can't run off as soon as I get here and hold me to a different standard. There's actually some... I don't think she's gonna believe me at this point. I think I would need some, uh, some proof. I don't want to lie to her, even though that's, like, the whole thing with being street smart, apparently. Um, I think I would confront her directly and say, You can't run off as soon as I get here. Don't expect me to respect your time if you can't respect mine. There's a difference between my duties and your impulses, Hap. Don't do anything reckless while I'm at work. I'll see you back at the estate tonight. I hear Stella's voice call out from another room. Wait, Tabby! Let me know if you're free sometime, okay? Tabitha sighs. Oh, they were girlfriends, weren't they? Let's see. Alright. See you in a bit, Stella. Cool. See you soon. Oh. She is old. She always has time to chat. And I don't think I've ever seen her without Gretchen. Is she feeling okay? Oh, Stella and Hap just got up to a bit of trouble last night, that's all. You can't just drop something like that and leave me hanging. Excuse me, you did, yesterday. You dropped something like that and you left me hanging. You didn't tell me what Pearl Ann said, okay? Like, I'm still mad about it, and for me it's been two weeks. It's been only one day for you. Alright then, keep your secrets. Get that achievement unlocked. Or warn the patrons of the capital D danger. Um, well, considering how our introductions went last time, we're just gonna talk to Avery here. Coffee date! We slide into the booth across from Avery. This coffee. Also, can I please get those specials? Because, like, yes, please. I'm not a coffee drinker myself, but I appreciate the, uh, the humor there. Hey there, stranger. You politely put the tea down and never pick it back up. <laughs> never pretending to pick it back up, but nobody needs to know that. I should have warned you about the tea. Chaga does not mess around. That is some heavy stuff. No wonder Stella seemed distant. I can't believe Gretchen is really gone. It seemed like that dog was gonna live forever. Monsters in the woods. You get an achievement. You get an achievement. Check out your tea, tea mug. There's an achievement. I may not have lived here long, but I've never heard of anything like that happening around these parts. Oh, he's not from here? I can't say I like the thought of it. Hadn't pegged you as a transplant. <laughs> I like authentic rocks. Assorted minerals. And uh, pulled from the scarlet mine. And fresh pickles by the barrel. Smacking morsels. 100% organic rocks. Organic rocks. And ew, Pepsi. This is the South. Why do they have Pepsi? I guess they're in Carolina. This is your first time seeing the general store in the light of day. A young man sits at the 
table by the register, too preoccupied with his phone to care that you stepped in. So if I wanted to buy some chips or something here, do I talk to you or... <sighs> I guess, yeah. Kanika decided to skip work today, so of course whatever plans I had didn't matter. Just take the chips. I don't care. <laughs> Street smart. Hell yeah, thanks for looking out. Not about to turn down free stuff. I'm paying for my chips. I insist. I'm not ringing you up. Take them or leave them. Just browsing. <laughs> We're getting so many achievements. They're carrying a steel eye beam with a dude on it? That's pretty heavy. Something's on fire. These kids look very happy. And Stella's back there maybe with Kanika? It's hard to tell. Um, there's a cat in the library and lots and lots of pictures, including one of potentially Trogdor back here. I, I never done a Scooby-Doo before. Kanika, you can't just tell someone they look tired. I hate being told that I look tired. We're gonna snitch on Miles. <laughs> I'll sleep when I'm dead. Before I forget, I met your brother Miles. I went in to buy some chips and he tried to make me steal them. You can't just snitch on someone like that. Ugh. I asked him to take care of the store for one day and he can't even be bothered to do that. Typical. I'm paying him, you know. It's no wonder he's chronically unemployed. Anyways, I guess we should get started. Hey there, strangers. And literal stranger. <laughs> We're gonna offer peanuts, because we, why not, here. As a gesture of friendship and good faith. Um, I don't know what to say. Is this a gift? I'm allergic to peanuts. Not serious allergic, but they give me a rash. Hey, Oscar, this is Hap. You know, Tabby's cousin? Oh, I should have known you were a Scarlet. You look so much like Vivian. Not that I knew her very well. I was still a little kid when she left. Well, they say history repeats itself, so I'd probably try and figure out what sort of disasters this region typically falls prey to. Uh, should I be worried about something? I don't know yet. I'll be right back. Gonna go nab some more books. I'm pretty sure still is barking up the wrong tree, Oscar. I don't think you have to worry about any horrible calamity befalling the town. But she's right about the weird stuff. There's definitely something unusual going on out in the woods. Tommy knockers. Originated in Cornish mythology, spread to the United States when Cornish immigrants began working in Appalachian mines. They're named for the knocking that can be heard from seemingly within the walls before a cave-in. According to some, the knocking serves as a benevolent thing. Others believe that the creatures take stolen hammers to the supports of mines and collapse them on whoever is unfortunate enough to still be inside. They're traditionally thought to be impish, leprechaun-like beings, but some claim they are the spirits of dead miners, forever cursed to haunt their final resting place. Hashtag exposition. What was that you were saying about nuclear incidents? You were talking about the Goldsboro thing, right? Yeah. Apparently in the 60s, a B-52 carrying a live warhead broke up midair and dropped a couple bombs. Do you think Wayne's a Tommyknocker? Maybe he's the ghost of a dead miner. Uh, that creep who keeps coming around my mom's tea shop. He snuck up on us last night and called out Hap by name. There's definitely something wrong with him. Seriously wrong, but I don't think he's a ghost. It's worth keeping him in mind, though. It's fair. Ghosts tend to be a specific place, though. Maybe he's haunting the whole town. Our teachers love to emphasize how many children we have working on and probably trying to show us how good we have it or whatever. Low bar, if you ask me. You know, that could be what the 
the ditchlings are warning us about another collapse. Writing it down on the list of potential disasters. Eesh, Stella, that's morbid. And besides, it was all Charles Shaw's fault. The labor market was, is way more strict now. There's no way he could get away with that kind of safety cutbacks he pulled. Uh, y'all don't actually think the mine is about to collapse, right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Have me worried there for a sec. I can't give Tabitha any credit for the now than it was back then. Still, what a horrible thought. You never know. Am I a mountain lion? Kitty is a mountain lion. Kitty's a mountain lion. Right? We would we don't even have a good reason to go down there. <laughs> good. Let's keep it that way. You know how I feel about mines. Pixel is a burnt loaf. Oh, but Pixel is a cute burnt loaf. I promise, Neeks, we're just gonna question some of the mines. Questioning gives ground, say a abandoned coal mine, then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You can cross that bridge when you come to it. I am not going underground. <laughs> Rock. But I do love a good sneak. You're gonna do great. Keen eye. Why are you talking about him in the past tense? I met him last night. Good question. Wait, what? No way. Isn't that the guy y'all said was, um... Well, I guess he ain't. And he hasn't even skipped town, huh? A pretty unexpected turn of events, if you ask me. Well, what a relief. I thought something awful had happened to the poor guy. What do you think happened to him? Hmm. What are you, some sort of cop? Haha. <laughs> This is where Street Smart is kicking in. So many lies, yeah, I'm a cop. Look, we've been over this. Tab is an excellent boss, very professional, and runs a tight ship. That's the honest truth. Alright, well, they're getting suspicious. Yeah, ooh, exposition. Actually, that's all I had, thanks. Bye. You walk away from the miners. Hmm. Maybe it was just me, but they seemed to think Wayne was dead, right? It wasn't just you. Against your better judgment, you turn to face it. Oh god! <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. Ooh, static. So he messes with electronics. Okay, so he is not a real person. <laughs> uh huh. Wayne got the jump on me. <laughs> I want to talk to your manager. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Maybe it's a graph of workplace accidents. Oh yes, our uh, TRR is is dropping. Um, we're at 0.44 now, our goal is 0.75, and uh, yeah, we had another incident roll off the list um, this past week. How do I know how to say all these things? Because that's part of my actual job. <laughs> uh, she's totally that bad. No use sticking around here. Clearly she's doing delinquency. I mean, yeah, but what kind of delinquency? Only one way to find out. Let's go after her. You rush over the hill and get your bearings. The sounds of active mining fade into the distance. Rosalina is nowhere to be found, but dusty footprints point toward a nearby mine. Not my snacks! <laughs> she didn't. I guess the old Max place doesn't cut it as a secret hangout spot these days. But the Shaw Mine? That place was shut down like a hundred years ago. After a collapse that killed over a hundred people. 
And here I thought Stella was going to be the one to drag me into an old abandoned coal mine. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, no. Good eye, Luvian. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. I've seen a little bit of Finch's runs, and in that one, Rosalina lost a leg. Like, is this where that happens? Don't tell me, but like, I'm thinking about it now, especially now that I've seen the Ditchling. Mm -mm. Nope, I really don't like this. We don't have fa flashlights, do we? Don't worry, y'all. This place doesn't have a minor, major collapse in over a hundred years. We'll be fine. Lightning never strikes twice, right? Dude, that is not, that is not what they say. That's, that's, that's not, that's not what they say. Broken wooden planks on the floor are not very comforting. It's true. Um, one good way, if you are going into a cave, is looking to see how the ceiling of that cave looks. Rounded ceilings are good. Flat ceilings are bad. Get out of there. Um, this one has a rounded ceiling, I'm guessing, because they maybe didn't look into that. And it was previously used as a mine, so it's supposed to be safe. But yeah, that's like a thing. Should I say the minor miners? Now is not the time for puns. Also, that was not a cool joke. That's like a rude joke. Stella, please. Kanika visibly shudders. Okay, I'm not superstitious, but if there's one way to make sure you get haunted, it's cracking jokes about dead child laborers while walking on their graves. Dude, Kanika knows what's up. Stopped mid sentence by a thunderous knock echoing from deeper in the mine. Oh no, not the Tommy knockers. <laughs> Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> fellow children. <laughs> what is what is the cool meme today? Bats are a particularly bad choice. Sis, if I wanted an echo, I'd yell into the Grand Canyon. It wouldn't echo there, it's a little bit too wide for your voice there. <laughs> I want to see the mountain lion. I want to see a real mountain lion. Actually, we did already, but Stella is convinced it's a bobcat. It's definitely a mountain lion. My dad's a foreman at the continuous mining fact facility, and he says they only abandoned this mine because there's not enough coal left. So it's actually really safe, and we can hang out here whenever we want. I thought your dad was a charge hand. No, Alexis. He got promoted last month. Correction. Your father was a foreman at the continuous mining facility. What a face. I don't know who you think you are in this situation, Stella, but I own this mine. It is entirely within my rights to tell them to leave. Much like it's entirely within my rights to tell you to leave. Was your lifetime ban from my mines not a clear enough message for you? <laughs> there should be an option for the player to jump up and slap a bean. Maybe, like right now, would be a good time. <laughs> So she's sad. So what? Give it a few years and you'll be sad too. The passage of time is inescapable. <laughs> the void it calls. Why are we talking about this like it's a thing? It's not a thing. Stop trying to make ghosts happen. Mm -hmm. Kanika is interrupted by a pair of thunderous knocks. And here's the bad shit. Oh, Kenai, let's something over the sound of Stella playing and Tabitha. Something like the shuffling of feet on stone and the whispering of mischievous teens. Oh no, they're gonna go without us anyway. You turn to see Becca and Alexis gone and Rosalina anxiously hovering in front of a small tunnel in a cavern wall. She freezes as you notice her. Don't do it, girl. Girl, don't do it. Stop arguing. The teens are slipping away. Wait, what? Rosalina, don't go in there. Becca and Alexis, stop trying to get us all killed. Pet sorcerer's kitty for comfort, right? Like, one second, one second. Safe. Cool. 
die. <laughs> uh, are, are those really your priorities right now? Yeah, do you have a problem with that? I want the rest of you out of my mind. Except for you have. I'm not letting you out of my sight. It's scary, okay? It's scary. You need a friend. And this friend has a built-in light. I was referring to the whole pearl and thing. Oh no. Another knock closer interrupts your thought, followed by another, followed by another. Are Ditchling's dark Pokemon? Hmm, Onyx to shield from collapse. It would dig you another tunnel. Is it just me, or is that knocking coming from the same direction as those kids? Diglett to get us out. It's not just you. I really don't like that knocking. Calm down, Alexis. It's just mine sounds. Yeah, the ceiling here is flat. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is not good. Did, did you see that? Did, no, it was just a shadow. There's no reason to get freaked out. Becca, I swear, I saw something. Shut up, there's nothing down here. Stop trying to scare me. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Tommy knockers. Tommy knockers who? Tommy knockers are not real. That's the joke. Supernatural thing or rocks falling in a pretty tight mine? I don't like either of those things. <laughs> or it's mountain lions. Late last night and the night before, Tommy knockers, Tommy knockers, knocking at my door. Nope. We are now at the level of Houston. We have a problem. Will grape juice help me get through this? I don't know, but we're sure gonna find out. Handling a kid like this. All right, we're gonna do this. Grape juice has saved us. This is definitely not up to OSHA standards. I talk about OSHA standards a lot because we go to Pokemon gyms that have a lot of holes and like weird designs and stuff. But uh, this is definitely not OSHA safe. But that's why it's been condemned and closed. So it's really not anybody's fault. Becca, is needing to feel like you're better than other people so important to you that it's worth being buried alive over? What? What are you talking about? Give me a break. The whole time we've been out here, you've done nothing but tear down every single person around you. The only people who do that are people who are afraid of themselves. Leave. Now. I... Whatever. Ugh, this isn't fun anymore. Fine, we'll leave. Thanks, Hot. Whoa, good job. As Becca and Alexis move toward the ladder, the black chamber before you draws your focus. Oh no. Yeah, at least you can stand up, right? I don't, nope. I don't want to do this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. The voices around you, those of the teens and your companions, sound odd. Distant. No. There is something in the darkness before you that's much louder, though you don't hear it. But you can feel it in your chest, like the growl of a predator. It's a mountain lion. No, don't make me go closer to it. You find yourself stepping towards the black chamber before you, compelled by some unnatural force. Hey, are you alright, Hap? What do you think you're doing? Get away from there! Your cousin dives towards you, but not before the light from your phone illuminates the chamber. Oh dear god. Hap! Hap, 
Jeff, are you all right? Oh, thank God you're alive. It looks like you had a seizure or something, and then you, Tabby, you just conked out. I don't like that there's, like, more color in this than there was before. Um, moving shadows with lights. Like, little flame lights. Like, from before actual lamps were a thing, they did a little flame light. Mm-mm-mm. mm I'm fine. Ugh. You can barely open your eyes. You're not fine. Either of you move a muscle. I don't want you straining yourselves while you're still recovering from whatever that was. I'm getting the kids out of here and then I'm going to get you both some help. Don't leave us if we just got freaking concussions. Yeah, like little lanterns, but on their ha hats. I'll be back soon, I promise. Nope, nope, don't like that at all. Mm -mm. You fade back out of consciousness as your companion clambers out of the pit, intent on your rescue. Oh. You raise up on your elbows, head still swimming from the visions, your surroundings coming back into focus. Your head throbs as the knocking continues, now magnitudes more intense than ever. Oh, it's ghosts. I don't like this. It's ghosts. They look kind of like ghosts and kind of like ditchlings. They have hands and arms and stuff. You can't help but notice the timber struts around you trembling, as if they were being struck by invisible blows with each knock. They're all that stand between you and the many tons of rock over your head, and they suddenly seem terribly fragile. I don't think these are like will-o'-wisps guiding us through the mines. These are not pleasant. I hate the sweep in. God, that knocking is not helping my headache. What the hell just happened? I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Yeah, you can see one of the collapse ports. We need to get out of here right now. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> the entire cavern shakes with the sound of rock fall. Yeah, the rubble and the broken beams. I don't know what the hell is up with this knocking, but that is the sound of a mine collapse. Quick, up the ladder. Climb like hell. You and Tabitha manage to squeeze through the entrance just as the walls of the mine come crashing down. Oh my god. We got an achievement. We're a pro babysitter. Holy shit! You're okay, thank god. And everyone's accounted for. That was a surprisingly close call. We could have all died in there. What did you weirdos do? Everything was fine until you adults showed up. Becca, shut up. What did you say to me? I said you should shut up. I'm sick of your two faced bu bullshit. They didn't almost get us killed down there. You did. Oh, yay. We saved all the chillins. You saved all the chillins. We made it out alive. Tabitha's a track star. You got that right, Alexis. If your friends are mean to you, they are not your friends. They're not your friends. Friends shouldn't be scared of each other. I never wanted to go into that stupid mine. It was your idea and we could have died. Not to be flippant, but that wasn't the end of our ditchling problem, right? I think you're right. We still got a lot of unanswered questions too. Even more than we had this morning. We have a lot of questions this morning. You collapse in Tabitha's dusty guest bed, your head empty of thoughts. After your time in the Shaw Mine, you barely even notice the dust. Your phone buzzes on the table. Kamika sent a message to Stella. Y'all, these are those things, right? 
Oh god, no, 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 no! Kanika sends a picture of a pair of ditchlings by the side of the road. I saw them again, too. Oh my god. Another picture, this time of them staring from a tree. Nope. What the fuck? These things are definitely not hairless monkeys or raccoons or whatever. I don't know what the hell they are. I guess there's more to them being here than the mine collapse. No way I'm sleeping tonight. You think about looking out the guest room window, but at this point you're too exhausted to leave your bed. The adrenaline from this evening is finally wearing off, replaced by a creeping exhaustion that threatens to overwhelm you. Your limbs feel heavy, your eyelids slipping down over your eyes, even as you stare down at the ominous pictures on your phone. If it weren't for the pit of dread bawling in your stomach, you would almost feel comfortable as you settle in between the covers, your tired bones sinking into the decrepit mattress. When you close your eyes, you see the shadowy figures that gathered behind Stella in the mines. Your thoughts are drawn to the carving on the wall and to the visions it imparted upon you. Your eyes shoot back open, your heart pounding as the door to your room swings open. Oh, hello, Fru-Fru. Just the cat. It's always just the cat. It's nice to see another living being, even one as unfriendly as Tabitha's cat. The comfort of her presence sets your mind at ease, and you finally slip into a deep sleep. 